Welcome back to my channel. You are watching something about Drea. I am Drea and today's video homegirls, it's another bougie on a budget video, but as you girls can already see, we're in a different space. Okay, so I do have you homegirls in my bathroom today because I did go ahead and do a bathroom refresh you girls know anything that i do on my channel is going to be bougie on a budget okay so i did go ahead and give my bathroom a facelift because y'all i so desperately needed something in here like before my bathroom was just so plain and just boring and lifeless there was literally nothing in here only what we needed to shower and get in and get out but y'all I needed something a little bit more relaxing I wanted just a little bit more serenity and I wanted to kind of feel like a spa but I didn't have a whole lot of money to do this and I just felt like being creative I wanted to go ahead and challenge myself I have been in this home for like over three years and I've never done anything with this bathroom so I'm super excited to go ahead and share it with you homegirls um I did go ahead and set my budget at a hundred dollars so you girls will be um amazed to know that I did all of this with only a hundred dollars. I'm saying all of this like it's a lot, girl. It ain't even that much, okay? It was just a little mini facelift. But girl, enough of that. If you care to see what I did to go ahead and revamp my small bathroom, then girl, make sure you stay tuned and keep on watching because I'm gonna get you together, honey. Let's get into the video. Okay, homegirl, so I'm going to walk you through my revamp process on how I did everything. So on the side, maybe I should scoot. On the side here, I'll have a video showing you all of what I started with. Again, my bathroom was very boring and just bland and just lifeless and girl, it was just ugly, okay? And it was stressful and it was stressing me out because it was not relaxing in here. Like, y'all know I'm big on self-care and all of the things and girl, I could not get that vibe in here at all. <laughs> So I wanted to do something again without spending a whole lot of money. And so I did set my budget at $100. In the end, I did go over budget, but I want to say at the max, I spent $130 and that was it. So the major thing that I have or that saved my bathroom, you girls are not going to believe. It was actually duct tape. Okay, so I started off just by... In my mind, like I knew there was, it was just empty and lifeless in here. And I'm like, I need some color, but I don't want to paint the walls. I don't want to like add contact paper, wallpaper, any of that. I want this to be as easy and as simple as possible because baby, I ain't nobody's home designer. Okay. I'm not on HGTV. So when I tell you the things that I use were super simple, girl, mirrors and duct tape. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I did go ahead and start. Of course, by making sure I had a clean slate, cleaning up my bathroom and just emptying it all out so we could start from scratch. So that was step one. Um, I did go ahead and start with my mirror vanity or the mirror that's over the sink. You do call that the vanity, I think. But this house is really, really old and it does not have a, like the fixtures are outdated, the cabinetry is outdated, the colors, just everything. But the thing that got me the most was that, girl, there's no border around the mirror. But again, I'm renting. And so I did not want to go through the hassle of removing the mirror and then trying to replace it whenever we decide to move. So, girl, duct tape. Mm-hmm. $5 at Walmart. So I did go ahead and start off by outlining, outlining my vanity mirror over the sink with black duct tape. And just doing that alone, it just added so much depth to the bathroom because now we had some color, okay? Before it was just blah, it was nothing. So I started with that. Um, also, I already knew that I wanted my thing to kind of be like wood tones, blacks, white, maybe a splash of gold here and there. So I just kept it simple that way. Um, my inspiration was this table that I got from TJ Maxx. It's actually a little planter table, I want to say, and it cost me about $30. That was my inspiration. It has a wooden top, these beautiful black legs, and I knew I wanted to sit something on it, like maybe bath salts, a candle for when I want to have like a spa night and relax in the bath. That was what jumped this whole thing off for me. So after I did the mirror, I was still stuck with this blank wall behind me, and I was like, again, no wallpaper. I'm not painting it. I'm not doing that because you have to switch it back when you move. So girl, these mirrors that you see here, I got these from Walmart. These uh, mirrors are $7 at Walmart. Um, they do come in black, 
white, pink, purple, blue, whatever color, you name it. However, when I went into the store, they only had white. And so I did go ahead and use that same duct tape to go ahead and outline these mirrors as well. So all I did was go ahead and mark off where I wanted the mirrors to be. And I just went ahead and hung them on the wall using one single nail and it gave me a nice little mirrored wall it just opened up the space and immediately the bathroom felt like it was transformed like after that there was literally nothing else that i needed to do like it was a no-brainer um my floor mats i did get rid of those i did have a single uh mat in front of the sink area as well as one in front of the tub but y'all i absolutely hate bath mats because they always soggy like they don't dry fast enough i don't like the ones with the rubber backing because the rubber can get stuck it's just the whole thing with me and bath mats and so i did go ahead and decide to put a runner down on the floor um this runner you can actually use in your kitchen your hallway wherever um and so i just decided i was like mm -hmm. It don't say bathroom on here, but it don't say you can't. It say you can use it anywhere in your house. So I decided to use a runner for the bath mat. And really, again, like I'm always cleaning and just always tidying up. So I don't mind not having a bath mat like literally up to the tub because I don't mind having to like mop the floor and do all of that just because, girl, we got to do it anyway. So I really don't mind not having a quote unquote bath mat so the runner it just gives it a whole i don't even know like i feel like it just makes it feel more open because the floor isn't cluttered if that makes sense like there's just one simple mat i did choose it in this light brown color and it does have like some dark uh or some black in it i can't really tell it's like little specks of black in it so it does pull from the mirrors that i have here on the wall hanging these mirrors were so Super simple, super easy. Again, everything that I did was super simple and super easy. Um, I did go ahead and keep, you guys can kind of still see in the mirror here, I have a shelf right above my toilet. Um, I've always had this, and so all I did was, again, clear it off, clean it up, and then only add it back the things that I felt like were aesthetically pleasing and the things that, you know, kind of match. And so it's not overwhelming, it doesn't look cluttered, and it doesn't look messy. That was my biggest thing, like having the vanity um, on the counter was just messy. There's stuff, of course, you need to be functional in your home, but I also feel like you can have a space that is functional, yet clean and relaxing, and that is what I was going for. Um, so after I did that, really after I did the vanity mirror, put my mirrors on the wall, brought in my uh, floor mat and my, I guess I'm gonna call this a side table, okay, that I have in my bathroom. Once I brought that in, at that point, it was just time to bring in your little knickknacks or your accessories or what have you, your decor, if you will. And then from there, it was just like completely done. I literally, girl, duct tape and mirrors. Again, the mirrors were $7 each, so I got three of those, y'all do the math. The duct tape was about $5, my runner that i picked up from tj maxx that was 14 dollars. the side table that i got that was 30 dollars. and i did go ahead and pick up just uh a couple knickknacks like for instance for this um jar that i have sitting on my side table i did go ahead and fill this up with some epsom salt and it just smells so good it looks good it does have this wooden cap with this leather like handle on it really really cute this was $6.99 if you girls are calculating just so you know that like I'm not lying about the budget um I did have to I also purchased a new candle it's this amber and saffron scent this scent is super relaxing not too overwhelming not too strong just really light and relaxing so I did purchase this I want to say this one was $6.99 as well Another thing that I had to purchase was a new shower liner, okay? Because the one that I had up here before, it was a real cheap one, like real cheapy, cheapy, okay? And if you know anything about shower liners, if you skimp on them, if you cheap out on them, girl, they're going to mildew and mold on you and get dirty and just nasty in like a week. So I found myself having to repurchase them over and over because one thing I don't play about... <laughs> I don't like a nasty bathroom. And so I got tired of like repurchasing the saws. Like, 
let me just get a good one so i did go ahead and add a shower liner again from tj maxx this one was no more than seven dollars the ones that i were you that i was using before was from like the dollar store and they were like two or three dollars so big difference plus the material was different as well um and after that i mean i just added my little bath tray my wine and wine glass and added some roses for a pop of color and this just made me feel so calm and relaxing. So I'm just going to take you girls through and make sure I show you everything. So that way you see where I purchased everything. And yeah, that's it. So let's go ahead and let's get into what we got. Okay, girls. So I'm just going to walk you through. So here is my vanity. Um, you can see here. I'm going to show you girls up close. So this is duct tape. That I was telling you girls about. All right. And here is what my countertops look like. So up here, of course, like I said, you still have to be functional. So these are just our, you know, soap dispenser, toothpaste and toothbrushes, just a little eye serum, um, toothbrushes there. This little thing, I did get this from TJ Maxx a while ago. I think it was like $5. It's just like a faux pompous. So that's what that is. Um, just my husband's brush, contact, contact solution, his and her toothbrushes, this rose gold one, y'all, this toothbrush is so good. I got this from, it was, it was a guy that sell these. I didn't know that there's like actual toothbrush sellers. Anyways, getting besides. So that is the vanity again, really, really simple. There's me. I didn't do anything with the lights, but whatever we move. So that's the sink area. And we're just gonna go ahead and move on over. So this is the area above the tub, I mean, above the toilet. Um, and on the shelf, again, I've had this shelf for a while. I wanna say this came from TJ Maxx. Um, but on here, I just have just a white bath towel. I have this little, uh, it's like a little jar. I don't know. It's it's like your bathroom canister. I used to have like Q-tips in there, but I need to refill. And then I have my facial steamer up here. And I just have the cord wrapped around. This cord was driving me crazy because it just looks so messy. So I just wrapped it at the base. Um, I have a candle and then also a, a jade roller is in that bag. That's the bag that you store it in. And then up here, I just have a diffuser, my vitamin C serum. Oh, this. Y'all probably going to ask me, me about this. I did go ahead and get this from Amazon. I think I have a whole video um, using this facial steamer. Really, really affordable. If I can find it, I'll go ahead and link that. Candle, TJ Maxx. And this came from, this was a set. And it also has a decanter and another canister with it. As well as that soap dish that's here. That came from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. So there's that. And then we're just going to go ahead and pan around to the tub area. All right. So I'll, I just have this simple white uh, shower curtain. It has this little pattern on it. It needs to be washed, but we're, don't worry about that. But this came from a TJ Maxx, probably no more than $10. But yeah, I actually want to change this out to a dark chocolate. But for now, we move. Again, we did this on a budget. Um, on the bath, I do have this bath tub tray this wooden bath tub tray i did pick that up from amazon i've had that for a while as well um i did go ahead and decide to add some roses hold on i did go ahead and add me some beautiful roses um this little it does come with this little thing right here that you could just lift up and you could set a book your ipad your laptop whatever so that way it just props up there um i just added some wine and a wine glass y'all this wine here envy by saint julian really really good y'all need to get that as you can see i need to re-up but yeah so that's the bathtub tray so that's that area all right next we're going to go ahead and pan around to my favorite section the thing that kicked this off is going to be this little guy right here this little table this was my inspiration because as you can see it does match the counter like my vanity and so this little guy right here from tj maxx 
$29. Um, this is the other part to that set. And I just have some cotton pads in there. Um, this little candle holder, TJ Maxx as well. No more than $5. Candle, TJ Maxx. This canister, TJ Maxx. And it just has some Epsom salt in it. So there's that. Here is the floor mat. Again, it's just a runner. TJ Maxx, of course. And here are the mirrors from Walmart. Three of those. And again, the mirror, $7 each. So I paid $14 total for, I mean, $21. Girl, you can't count. <laughs> $21, okay, for the mirrors. And yeah, that's my bathroom. Love it. Okay, homegirls, that is it. That is all that I have for this video. Hope you girls enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you homegirls love my little bathroom revamp. If you enjoyed this video, let's talk about it down below in the comments. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that good old notification bell so that way you are notified each and every time I upload a new video. That is all for now. And I'll see you girls next time on something about Adria. Bye.